Hi, groovy people. Look at the sky behind me. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. This is on my back deck. Hi. And my groovy... Oh, my Zen Gen garden. See? That was my compost pile, and now it is looming with vegetables. Um, pumpkin and squash and... Let's see. <laughs> Tomatoes and basil and beans and peas. And um, I've got all kinds of flowers going on. Look, you see? My cute little... Cute little garden. Anyway. We love it here. So, um, what I wanted to update you on is the school thing. I know I posted that letter and I was quite um, disappointed in uh, the way that something was handled with Brianna. And now I've gotten um, a few responses, one from the guidance counselor and one from the... Um, the teacher and they were actually really nice um, and one invited me to a meeting to do a, an official 504 which actually when I revoked consent should have been handled right away um, when I revoked consent of um, special education which anyone can do um, the then you do like an exit interview kind of thing um, with the special education teacher we talked and for a second and basically I asked her to definitely refer me to the counselor so that we could do a 504 and if you don't know what a 504 plan is it's like an accommodation it's not an IEP but it holds the teachers more responsible than maybe the special ed, ed department is funded under different um, monies it basically says that the kid uh, is capable of being fully integrated mainstreamed but with special accommodations like longer test taking, um, written instructions rather than just verbal, just to ensure that someone like Bree, who is a visual learner, has um, the same chances um, of success. So we haven't had one yet, and so um, she's been doing it with nothing, and she's been still doing awesome. Um, so the teacher basically said that she it sounded more abrupt according to her email but really uh, Brianna was the one who was hurt and that was what I was basing my opinion on not not necessarily how the email sounded or how it was handled via that way but I would have liked to have more time to discuss it with Brianna and the professionals before they basically said something to her before a test and gave her no choice um, because she really doesn't have control over that so she must have fought, felt very full of anxiety. Um, we don't like that. There's a lot of anxiety involved um, when schools refuse to recognize the needs of kids and of anyone else. It's, I mean, when we, any of us refuse to recognize the needs of others, it seems to um, backfire. I myself, when I'm in, in relationships or in business relationships, sometimes do forget um, to be as open and accommodating and um, kind-hearted as possible. Sometimes I'm just not, and that always makes everyone feel bad. So, um, we have learned, and then the day after I publish that, Brianna gets a letter from the principal saying that she needs to go to the awards or that her family should go to the uh, undergrad awards banquet um, next week uh, because my daughter will be receiving um, an award and we don't know you're not supposed to ask what kind because apparently it can be for academic achievement or for improvement in their department or in a class or for some wonderful project they've done I'm not sure but um, so it looks like the sister girl is receiving uh, an award, which I think is awesome. She is awesome. She deserves tons of awards. So does Justin, just for being awesome. And they've accomplished goals 
that are that I could have never dreamed of and yesterday I posted a post basically saying never give up because I got a great question from the group that I was presenting to and what I mean by never give up is I want to use an example is let's say I people used to ask me what do you predict will happen you know what will, will your kids ever be able to talk will they ever be able to communicate and I said yeah I think they're gonna write books and they're gonna rule the world <laughs> um, and so but I mean I can't predict that and so I refuse to give up um, and if I would have given up or said yeah I guess they're just gonna be institutionalized their whole life you know or just I guess they'll never be able to read or write or talk or do anything then I then my kids would have been just up shit creek <laughs> that's that's the way it is and um, sorry for the language but that's how I talk and they are now excelling and continuing to excel and so I can't even tell what the next 10 years will bring five years two years but I know that they always surprise me with wonderful um, giant leaps and bounds so I'm looking forward to the next surprises and I hope you have a great weekend peace and love and grooviness. And I hope you enjoyed my Zen Gen garden. Take care.